Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Let's Eat and Game here, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a beam which connects two parts, just like the one that's behind me right now. So you see that I have two parts uh, far away from each other, then I have a beam which connects them. Alright, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to do that. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is insert two parts into the workspace, anchor them so that they stay in the same position, um, and then you can um, change the part colour and material to whatever you like. Just go and configure these things to however you like. So I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. And then I'm going to duplicate this part, I'm going to bring it over here a bit. Uh, and then you're gonna, I'm just gonna extend this explorer menu bit. Then I'm just gonna name these both beam, beam support, like this. Then I'm just gonna insert a beam inside of this one, and you're gonna need to insert an attachment. So I'm just going to I'm just going to duplicate this attachment and bring it into the other one, and then I'm going to scroll down here and then select the attachment zero to this one, then the attachment one to this one. So then you'll be able to see a, a beam connect these two parts, and then you can change the color of this beam. So you see these three dots here. Click on that. I'm just going to expand this. And you can add time stamps on onto here. So if you want to change the colour at a certain point, you just click on that triangle and then select the colour. So I would like it to be red. And then select this triangle. You can add multiple, so you just need to click on a different part. Just click on a different part in the timeline. And then if you want to delete a timestamp, you just need to click on it then press delete like this so I want to change this one to orange and then I'll change this one to yellow like this and I could close and you see it'll start um, from a red then it'll start fading into a yellow just like this uh, you can also change the size so I'm just going to get the, um, how tall this is so it goes up by five so I'm going to set the width to be five like this so it connects the whole entire connects the whole entire thing but you can customize it to however you like all right so I hope this helped you with your Roblox game so if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the bell so then you'll be notified when another video comes out. Also remember to leave video suggestions in the comment section down below and uh, for a shout out and one more videos. Also I'm going to start doing Fortnite videos so if you want to see them make sure you and make sure you subscribe turn on the notification bell and comment then comment that you want Fortnite videos. So this is going to be it for now and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.